Good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to start with a new chapter of our English grammar. That is the next chapter of our English grammar preposition. Got it, students? Before going through the exercises, let us first discuss about the definition of the prepositions. Now you can see the definitions here. Words that tells that tell us about the position of thing and people are called preposition now students see prepositions word preposition word is formed by pre plus position understood so the words that tell you about the position of the things or the people is called prepositions and prepositions are always placed before a noun or a pronoun for example you can see here the monkey is on the tree now tree is your noun and on is the word that is preposition used before your noun that is tree so it is telling you about the monkeys that they are monkey that they are on the tree got it students for example let us see the next example the children are with their grandma now see grandma is a noun and before this noun with word is the preposition that is being used got it now let us start with the first question of let's to read each sentence given below then underline the preposition and circle the noun oblique pronouns now students you have to circle the nouns or the pronouns and you have to underline the preposition got it so see the monkey is on the tree again i am explaining you earlier i explained you as an example now i am explaining you as a part of the exercise question so the monkey is on the tree now here on is a preposition and tree is your noun so before your noun on is used as a preposition to tell you the position of the monkey got it so you will circle both monkey and tree and you will underline the preposition now see the second question the girl is under the tree now you will underline the under because it is a preposition and girl and tree you will circle because it is a noun now the boys are in front of the tree now here you can see tree word is your noun got it and in front of is a preposition what it that is it is telling you about the position what it position of the boys that where they actually are got it now see the next question the tree is near a river now near is again the preposition and river is your noun so near word is used as a pronoun and it is used before the word a river now see the next question students here the dam is on the river now on is the preposition that is a word that is telling you about the position of the dam that 
the dam is on the river so river and dam is a noun and on is a preposition the fishermen are under the dam dam now fishermen is a noun and dam is another noun so under is a preposition that is used before the noun so you will underline it and you will circle both the nouns that is fisherman and dam now see the next one they are in the river now see here river is your noun and in is your preposition understood and they is your pronoun so here according to the question we have to circle the pronoun as well as the noun and we have to underline the preposition as it is said in the question to do they are are there with their fishing nets now see they are again the pronouns here and fishing nets is your noun and with is your preposition that you have to underline understood students now you can see some of the prepositions that you already know see at near in on under behind beside over in front of between inside students these are the prepositions that you already no what is students now coming to the next question let's practice your friend is very forgetful girl she wants to make pasta for you help her by ticking the correct option now students just imagine that you have got a friend who is very forgetful now she wants to make pasta for you now you have to help her by ticking the correct option mahima we can't make pasta without garlic where is the garlic now mahima is saying we can't make pasta without garlic so where is the garlic now you are going to answer isn't it on the kitchen top now see on is your preposition mahima i don't see it i only see tomatoes now mahima is again saying i don't see it i only see tomatoes you it must be near the tomatoes now out and near so near is the correct option so it must be near the tomatoes mahima is again saying it's not there then what are you going to answer what is your answer let us see in this conversation oh look in the fridge then mahima i still don't see any garlic you now you are going what is your part of conversation look behind the water bottle beta here there is into also and behind also so no one puts the garlic in the bottle into the bottle so it should be behind behind is your correct option mahima it's not there you look on the floor it may be under the table now you see around the table and under the table so under is the better option is the correct option got it so you have to take it under the table mahima no it's not there you maybe it fell under the stove look there 
Now again, you see, after the stove, it can't be after the stove. The correct option is under the stove. You. Did you find it? Mahima. Yes, but it wasn't in the refrigerator. Then what are you going to answer? Where, uh, what are you going to question? Where was it? Mahima. It wasn't near the stove. You. Was it on the table? Means you are asking was it on the table? Mahima. No, it was in my hands. Now see how forgetful your friend is. She is forgetting and she is having the garlic in her hands. She is searching on the table into the water bottle. Uh, uh, sorry. In the water bottle. In the refrigerator and everywhere. But she is actually having it in her hands. So students, what we have seen and understood in this exercise? Students, these were the prepositions that told you about the position of a thing. That is your garlic. Understood? So again, I am repeating prepositions are the words that tell you about the position of the thing or the people. Got it students? And it is placed before a noun or a pronoun. Now students, just turn over to your next page. There is your next exercise on your next page. Each sentence below has a preposition. Use the opposite of these prepositions and rewrite the sentence one has been done for you now students in the question there is a preposition used now in the answer what you have to do is you have to just use the opposite of that preposition whatever is given to you in the question like i will meet you inside the children's museum so the answer will be, I will meet you outside the children's museum. The opposite of inside is outside. Now here students, you can see the preposition inside and here while making opposite of it is we are using outside. This was one example given to you. Now let us see the further exercises. The further questions, sorry, the further questions of this exercise. Look, a herd of kangaroos are jumping in front of the fence. Now here students, kangaroos, the group of kangaroos. The collective noun that is used for the kangaroos is a herd. Understood? Are jumping in front of the fence. So in front of is a preposition so in place of in front of there should be a opposite word an opposite word to be used so how are you going to frame the answer look a herd of kangaroos are jumping behind the fence now see the next question mom said climb up the tree at once so climb up means going up so mom said come down the tree at once climbing up means going up so going up the opposite of going up is coming down so it will be mom said come down the tree at once a pack of dogs barked furiously and ran in front of me <coughs> sorry students a pack of dogs barked 
students here pack of dog pa a pack of means it is a collective noun used for the group of dogs so a pack of dogs barked furiously and ran in front of in front of is a preposition but we have to use the opposite of it it will be behind understood behind me the cat went inside a house the cat went outside a house understood the opposite of inside is outside the boy is under the hay stack fast asleep now here students hay stack is the dry grass what we call bhusa in hindi that is known as hay stack understood a heap of hay understood so the boy is over a hay stack fast asleep fast asleep means sleeping deeply sleeping in a sound sleep having a sound sleep now here students let us see what is there next to this exercise preposition which tell us about the position of a noun are called preposition of place now here students you can see the preposition which tells us about the position of a noun are called position of place preposition of place sorry it is preposition of place now here students when we are just going through this definition we can find some of the examples given to you here some prepositions of place are at on in now here students the prepositions that tells us about the position of a noun or a pronoun that is the preposition of place for example you can see here the preposition of place are at on in understood it is act, it actually tells you about the position of a noun or a pronoun so these are the preposition of place understood let us see the first rule we use at for the specific address suppose we have got a fixed address understood suppose we have got a fixed address then we use at that means if we know the address well understood a particular address well then we use at for example my friend lives at 12 b rajrani road dham dhamal dhamal pur understood now see the second example on is you uh, we use on to talk about the names of the street roads lanes etc students when we are talking about a street road lane means gali so lanes etc then we use the preposition on got it students this you have to learn now for example the town library is on rana pratap road 
Now here yes, students. Now see. This is a name of the road. Rana Pratap Road. So here in the above rule it is said that whenever we are talking about the street, road or lanes. Then we use on as a preposition. Understood? Now see the third one. We use in for the names of large island, large land areas, towns, countries, states and continents. Students, when we are talking about the names of the large land area, understood, like town, countries, states and continents, then we use in. Understood? Like you will see beautiful handicrafts in in Zen, in Zen Kimong, in uh, Yen Zen Kimong is in Nagaland. Students see Nagaland is a name of a state. So it is a big area. So here we use in understood got it uh, clear students now again i am repeating for your convenience just see at we use whenever we talk about a particular address understood then on uh, we use as a preposition when we are talking about the street road lanes lanes is gully then again in is used with the towns, countries, states, continents. Understood? Now here students, one more thing I want to tell you besides this on my own. It is not there in the book but I am, I want to add one more rule to it and I want to tell you something more besides these examples and besides these three rules that is on is used with the island if it's small and not inhabited. Now you see if island is there it is small and if no one lives there, got it students, again I am repeating, if there is a small island and no one lives there, then we use the preposition on, got it students. And besides this, I am going to tell you one more rule that N is used with the island if it is big and inhabited by the people that is in we use with the island if it is big and people live there then we use in with the island and if the island is small and no one lives there we use on as a preposition understood students this rule I explained you on my own. Got it? Because I felt the need that you should know where to use in and where to use on with the island. Got it students? Now, use correct preposition from the box to fill in the blanks. Now see, in the box it is given at, beside, behind, in, inside, on, under. Some of the large stores in Bangalore are on MG Road. Now you see, I told you earlier, according to the rule, according to the rule here, students, Whenever we are talking about the states or the countries or the towns, 
there we use in so according to it here we are going to use in bangalore understood student and if we are talking about roads streets and lanes there we will use on so according to that rule we are going to use here on that is on mg road the baxters live in an island students i have already explained to you if the island is big and people live there so there to position that we use is in understood so here we are going to use in because on this island people live that is baxter live in an island mr ibrahim lives on lake temple road now you see this is the name of the road so on is used my parents live in kolkata kolkata is the name of a place understood a large area so in is used the school is beside the garden beside means by the side of the garden at 12d green view park students see green view park is the name understood so it can be a name of a road or you can say it is an address understood you can suppose it as a address so at is used here what is the distance between puri and kolkata between will come here i went to study in college which is in england england is a big country so in will be used in india see again india is a big country so in is a preposition that will be used hari's mother is sitting in the car i met an old man on the road now you see on the road here the preposition that will be used is on what it students now come to the next question that is the second question on the same page choose the correct preposition to fill in the blank in each sentence my sister is sitting between me and my brother now here students between got it between is the correct option that is between me and my brother this is the position of my sister that she is sitting between me and my brother now see the next sentence rivathi rivathi lives at 15b shivaji park nasik now here students at is used with this specific address understood the painter is beside the the printer sorry the printer is beside the computer now beside means by the side understood so what is the position of the printer the printer is beside the beside the computer the circus performers walked in front of the band 
here there are three options given to you in front of between and in my seat is behind my friend's seat in the class now you see behind between and at is given so behind is a right option the jar of biscuits is at the oven at is the correct preposition that should be filled here devraj is sitting with the computer surfing the internet now here with is the correct preposition what is students now turn over to your next page and come to this exercise come to the next question of the same exercise there was a woman standing dash me in the bus the options are in behind out so there was a woman inside in me and out me is your wrong options so correct option is behind me in the bus there was nobody at the ticket counter the options are in at and on so the correct option is at now here you can see here there is an activity given to you find a partner discuss and complete the dialogues using the clues from the box traveler can you show me my seat please flight attendant sure it is in the next azile next sorry near the window sorry students it is near the window got it students now next traveler thank you so much can i keep my bag dash the luggage rack that is in the luggage rack over my seat what is students there are options given to you in the bracket you have to choose the correct option flight attendant yes please traveler after some time i can't find the headphone flight attendant it's inside the seat pocket in front of you the socket is inside your arm rest to your left students here in the bracket it is given to you beside and to beside is the wrong option to is the correct option excuse me i have to make an announcement flight attendant we are passing we are passing through a heavy wind passengers are requested to keep their seat belts on thank you now see here the flight attendant is making an announcement now traveler it's not easy to travel in plane in a plane view now here yes, students this was a role play only just to make you understand the use of preposition correctly understood students now after doing the whole exercise of the chapter now let us just see the revision part prepositions talk about the position of things and people prepositions 
are placed before the nouns and the pronouns here students i have told you in the definition only that prepositions tell you about the position of the things and the people and prepositions are used before the nouns and the pronouns so students with this we are finishing this chapter meet you in your next video thank you